and welcome for a na another math with Miss V. Simulations. And then previous videos, we looked at how to find the probability of compound, independent, and dependent events. And in this video, we'll learn how to model a probability situation. We are focusing on standard 44 SP. 8C, design, use, and explain ways to set up a simulation to generate frequencies for compound events. So some commonly used simulations for two outcomes, we would flip a coin. For six outcomes, we would say we roll a dice. For three to eight outcomes, a spinner. For nine plus outcomes, we pull a marble for a bag, or we can use a combination of outcomes, and we'll see what that means. But for now, let's just jump right into an example. So how would we simulate 10 multiple choice questions? Well, a standard multiple choice question has four choices or four outcomes. A good way to simulate four outcomes is a spinner with four sections. And to simulate all 10, we would, a spinner with four sections, spun 10 times. To simulate each of the 10 multiple choice questions. Okay, the next example, 10 true false questions. Well, for a, two, a true false, we know we have two choices or two outcomes. What's something that represents two outcomes very well? It's a coin. And we would flip the coin, a coin flipped 10 times. So each of the each time we flip, we would simulate answering one question. Okay, let's look at some more examples. A three and five chance of snow. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can simulate this. So a three and five chance. Well, five, remember, five tells us there's the number of outcomes. We have five outcomes. But three are favorable. Three are what we want. Okay, so we can think about this as a spinner. With five sections. But three of them are what we want. Three of them represent snow. So let's just say five sections and three are for snow. Maybe, so if we just sketch it out, and it's not gonna be a great sketch. Actually, I can use my circle tool. Okay, so here's my spinner. I'm going to divide it up into five sections, which is a little bit difficult. Think about like this. Okay, so if we want a three in five chance of getting snow, we would say snow, 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 maybe rain and um, nothing. Nothing happens. It's clear. So this would give us a three in five chance of getting snow. Our next one, a store is handing out $5, $10, and $15 off coupons. Well, that is three different outcomes. What's a good way to represent three? A spinner with three sections. And because each of our outcomes are different, five, 10, and 15, we don't have to specify anything special about the sections. Let's look at our last two examples. Choosing one student out of 12, okay? So we want, there's 12 outcomes. 
and one is favorable. One is what we want. We could say, you know, a bag of 12 different colored marlboros. That would be a good way to simulate it. But hopefully you remember from previous videos or working a lot with simulations that if I take the number of outcomes for a coin, which is two, and we multiply the number of outcomes for a dice, which is six, we also get 12. So we can flip a coin and roll the dice. And we would just say that each student is represented by heads or tails at a number. So they each get one uh, combination of outcomes. Okay, our last example, choosing one student out of 36. Again, we have 36 outcomes. One is favorable. We could represent this like we did the last, a bag of 36 marbles that are all different in some way. Maybe they're labeled one to 36, who knows? But another way, hopefully we remember that with a dice, we have six outcomes. And if we choose a second dice, we also have six outcomes. And that gives us 36 as well. So we could roll two dice. And each student would have a combination of numbers. For example, one, one, uh, three, four, two, six. And depending on what two numbers we got, that would be our one student. So these are different ways we can simulate uh, different events using probability. Thanks for stopping by this math video. I look forward to seeing you in the future.